Hello Aries, thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using the Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. Supportive Oracle Cards, You Are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace, illustrated by Elaine Marzen. Okay. So we got cards popping in from the bottom, which seems very interesting to me. Let's see what we got. Um, so it feels like there's an underlying issue in the environment. When you're coming into this situation, you're really doing good. You've got appreciation. Nope, that's prosperity, but it is going right into appreciation. Prosperity and appreciating what you got. The environment, though, isn't quite working well. Something isn't quite on. And I know this is the Page of Cups, which is not a bad card. But I'm getting, like, you got prosperity and appreciation. You're doing really good. But the environment, the way things are actually working out, it should be a higher level than this. And it's, something is diminishing it down. Underlying issues in the environment. High Priestess and the Six of Coins. Somebody feels like they're giving too much, giving too much, giving too much. Ironically, this is not connected to you. Um, the underlying issue is whoever you're dealing with, they're running at a deficit. When I'm getting the four of coins, they're trying to hold on to what they have. And it's like they're running at 100% with you, 100% at this, 100% at this other thing, 100% at home, 100% with family, 100% with friends. They're stretching themselves way too thin, and they're not willing to back down. They want everything, and they want everything to work out. The underlying issue with the High Priestess and the Six of Coins is like they have to give and take on every situation. If they're going to keep up a certain level, they have to put in what they get out. The thing is, they're, they're spreading themselves way too thin. This is an underlying issue. This is face down, which is telling me... They know at some point this isn't going to work out. The thing is, I don't think you know this is happening. That's why it's face down. Somebody you're dealing with, somebody you're working with, is spreading themselves way too thin. It seems like you're both giving in equal amounts and getting out equal amounts, which is fine. But when somebody over here is like spreading themselves way too thin, it's it's on a, it's got like a shelf life. It's on a timer. It's not going to last forever. But they're, they're trying to give you the heads up on this. This is what's going on around you that's going to affect your situation. Whoever you're dealing with, spreading themselves way too thin. In some respect, in some place, they're going to have to give in or they're going to have to pull it back in some respect, either a little bit everywhere or they're going to have to let some things go. The Fool card is like, I feel like when this is coming in in the environment, this person is obviously a little bit run down. But they're giving you some type of excuse, um, almost like it's a temporary thing. I don't think that's going to work, though, because I feel like you want to believe them. And whatever they're telling you, it seems like, well, that's possible. Why not? Everything's going well. I don't want to screw things up. I don't want to, like, you don't want to give them a hard time because there's nothing, like, you, there's nothing going wrong in your respect. Like, but you don't want to, like, challenge it. Like, there, there's nothing they're doing wrong to you. So you don't want to challenge what they're saying. Like, there's no reason for me to not believe you. You got this coming in on your side face down, these two cards. Quan Yin and self-acceptance. Part of you is already starting to realize that something isn't right here. And you want to believe that they're going to be okay. And you want to believe this is going to keep going the way it has been. But you should be getting some type of inklings. Or there's some type of little telltale signs. Maybe little errors showing up a little late. Um people calling, something's going on where you're getting little like obvious signs in front of you that something isn't quite on the level. That's the Quan Yin. She's a very interesting card. In this situation, I feel like it's kind of like the universe is kind of saying, here, pay attention, pay attention. We're trying to let you know you can plan for this. This doesn't have to be really bad, but you need to like realign how you're doing things because the person you're working with is not going to be able to keep up with this situation. The self-acceptance is kind of like something has to change. Even though it's going real well, trying to give you that heads up. In the environment, though, there's also the Three of Cups. Other people are trying to tell you, hey, that person you're working with, yeah, they're a good person. It's true. 
but they're spreading themselves way too thin. They can't keep going like this. There's options for other people to step in. This reminds me, I don't remember if it was Scorpio, I don't remember who the other one was, but you might have a chance here to change, it might have been Cancer actually, I think it was Cancer, doesn't matter. Um, you have an option, you have the option to go towards this and change it before it's a problem. The thing is, this person is not a problem for you. They're actually pretty good to you, so you're, you're like, I don't want to like challenge them. I don't want to be a problem for them when they're good for me. Like, they're good to me. I want to be good to them. Going forward, like, and finding a way to figure out what's going on, because I figure what's going to happen is they're going to have to bow out at some point. And there's, there's a chance for something else to step in in its place where it doesn't have to be that bad of a situation. Um, the Ascended Masters is like, you're going to get one opportunity. It feels like one. To switch players. The thing is, you need to do this. I feel like it's hard. Like you're seeing things start to crack, and it's you're hoping for the best. This person is good to you, though. That's where the challenge is. Like you don't want to like, you don't want to like challenge them or like give them a hard time when they've been really good. But it's kind of like stepping in and being like, all right, what's going on? Are you all right? What's going? You know, are you gonna have to back off? Do you need some time to yourself? I feel like they don't want to, but they might get forced into the corner. Um, the opportunity here with the Ascended Masters is like you're getting these inklings like this is a good time to change people up, to change players. I feel like it's change players. And it's weird because at this point it's not that anything's really wrong. It's just that like you're getting the heads up like do it yourself or we'll do it for you in some one of those moments. You're going to have a really tough moment one way or another. It's the choice up to you which way it comes. Either it's going to come in on its own and you're going to kind of get stuck and have to figure out a different way to do things or you head towards it and you're like, and usually Aries will head towards it. But the thing is, Aries is very, they have a lot of gratitude to people who do things the way they should. Like you're not looking to just cause problems for people if it's not necessary. Um, it's just being sure that that's what's right to happen right now. Like, this person is falling. They're going to have to back off knowing that that's the right thing to do versus, you know, just letting it happen on its own. It's hard. I feel like this is hard, even for Aries, because, like, Aries is good to the people that are good to them. That's the thing. Like, and I feel like that's the, the catch-22. Like, I don't want to, like, seem ungrateful for something when somebody's been good to me. Like, that's not how I run. Personal transformation is here in the environment. I feel like there's a way to bring this conversation forward and just kind of like, well, maybe you need a break for a while. Just kind of like, kind of saying, well, let's let's just put you in a break status for a while and I'll pull, pull, some, pull somebody else in for a little while. And then if things get back up to speed for you, then you can come back in or we'll move it back however we need to do that. Um, this other person, they're going to get forced into the corner. They're going to have to bow out. It's just if you're waiting for that to happen to them or if you're just going to kind of help that help move forward. You can be the trigger to make that happen is what I'm getting. You could end up being that trigger. It's very like the energy is a little bit disruptive here because I feel like it's not an easy situation. It's not just like left or right. It's kind of like what's really going on, what's the right thing to do. Um, something else is going to change this situation like there's going to be some other energy also coming in after this so there's that's kind of like the heads up like something's going to make this more complicated the person who's running like spreading themselves thin running on empty when this kicks into the next gear there, there's no way they're going to be able to hold up i'm getting past lives with the three of coins which is a lot of work coming in a lot of work, and it's kind of like more of what's been going on but at a higher level. It's kind of like been they've been running at like 10 miles an hour. Now they're going to have to go up to 12. Like, And it may not seem like that's a lot, but when, when you say somebody's running like at 10 miles an hour, going 2 miles an hour faster when they're just barely making it as it is, it's just not going to work. They're going to fall. They're going to cra crash. I'm getting that you don't have to end this, this. Well, it doesn't have to end, but it doesn't have to go into a bad moment. You have community here. If you kind of get into their situation and find out what's going on, 
which I don't really know. I don't really like the idea of doing that, but you can kind of push this to the side without it being an issue, and it can come back later when it's more healthy and more kind of got its life under control, when they got their life under control, and they're not spread so thin. Um, I really don't like the idea of getting involved in somebody else's business. Like, it doesn't feel like that's something you really want to do. But they're saying you don't have to get really deep into it. Just find out what's going on and be like, listen, just go over there, sort out your life. And when you're done and you got it back together the way it should be, maybe we can add you back in. Because um, your situation is going well. And the thing is the prosperity is going to have a problem if this same person is here because it's going to shift into the next gear. And it's only one gear up, but it's going to be too much. This person's already spread too thin. They can't do it. So it's kind of like... Another version of this for some of you is that, you know, trying to shift up to that next gear, having some problems and like having to go down too. It's like if you're running at this level, trying to shift up one more, it fails, you go down one, down two, possibly down three. It depends how bad it goes because this person's going to be spread too thin. It's not just going to be like try to reach a little farther and kind of miss, miss it and stay at the same level. That's not what's going to happen. It's going to be trying to try to reach one up and falling two down. It's it's going to be rough. Before that happens, and they're saying for those of you this really hits with, you should be able to see like these inklings should be showing you or like these little moments where you're like, ooh, they look like they're barely holding on, but they're still doing it. Those are the moments that they're trying to give you the heads up. This is the universe trying to say, accept that we're trying to show you that this is not going to work. This person has to have a time out. They have to go somewhere else. They have to kind of reevaluate their life and kind of consolidate and audit themselves so they're not spreading themselves so thin when they've done that and maybe they won't be coming back but even if they want to they need to pull it down a bit they need to bring it back a bit before they can do this successfully otherwise they're going to bring themselves down and you with them a little bit um and you don't want this to happen that devil card is telling me it's really hard and it's either one way or the other it's either you kind of have to get this person to bow out and replace them or you let them keep going and then it's like you fall back a little bit and your prosperity is a little bit damaged. We're good? We're good. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for for watching. If you'd like to purchase a reading from me, go ahead, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.